who holds a PhD in one of the most beautiful languages, the Sanskrit, Sanskrit language. It is no easy undertaking. And the demonstration of the leadership of this very beautiful matter. And I know of this matter long before I had the honor and privilege to step inside this morning. The beauty of this matter is all over social media. <laughs> today, I'm so humble. Very beautiful things. But we never enjoy this beauty. We can have the best house with the best and most expensive furnishing, but the house will be in turmoil. What it takes to transfer and transform something that is physically beautiful to something that gives inner beauty, that brings inner peace that settles the inner being to the extent that the beauty of the environment is translated and transformed into the beauty of our own outlook requires individuals, people, leadership to demonstrate that beauty and to shine that beauty, to inspire others to that beauty. And this morning, you can tell when there is great love and unity in the building. You can tell by the look of people's faces. You can tell by the peace of the environment. You can tell by the composition of the gallery. You can tell by the way in which you're approached, whether there is such peace and I can say I find and feel tremendous peace and spirituality in this building and that I think you should be tremendously proud of.
But what it is, no one else can. And the honor that every single spiritual text place at the feet of the mother is not only enormous, but unavoidable. So, the context of the river and the connection with the goddess and female persona is also an 